There is a popular myth that the medieval Catholic Church ignored or suppressed science. Scholars of medieval times have largely abandoned this myth, but it persists among popular authors and amateur historians. In its mild form, the myth claims that the Church ignored scientific inquiry for a thousand years between Hypatia and Leonardo. Extreme forms of the myth claim that the Church actively discouraged or punished scientific inquiry, preferring to focus on metaphysics, theology, and otherworldly concerns. Historians of science have decisively refuted this myth. Uh, to quote just one, Oxford historian John Heilbronn in his book The Sun and the Church. The Roman Catholic Church gave more financial and social support to the study of astronomy for over six centuries, from the recovery of ancient learning during the late Middle Ages into the Enlightenment, than any other, and probably all other, institutions. But the idea that there was no science in the Middle Ages and the Church suppressed science is again completely wrong. What was going on in the 12th century was uh, was uh, really the beginnings of and the laying the foundations of um, the, the genuine uh, uh, expansion of science in the 16th and 17th centuries. But the idea that the church was hostile to natural philosophy is, is again, another myth. Um, whenever people talk about the church suppressing science in the Middle Ages, I always say, I've been saying this for 30 years, give me one example, just one, of anyone in the Middle Ages who was burnt at the stake, imprisoned, tortured, uh, or spoken to harshly by the church for anything to do with the rational analysis of the physical world. I've been challenging people to do that for over 30 years. No one has been able to give me a single example because it never happened. So again, what's going on here? The idea that the church was suppressing science is again a post-medieval idea being projected back onto the Middle Ages. People are thinking about what was going on around about the time of Galileo where there definitely was a clash between the rise of science, true science, and, and some political and theological issues. And then they assume that there must have been the case beforehand. It simply wasn't. In the me medieval period, the church's attitude to this stuff was, it's all for the greater glory of God. You know, if, if you can discover new things about the world, go do it. Good stuff.